head over to Kumasi. I'm going to the airport now. It is 16.43 and my flight is at 18.20. So I'm going to leave now. Should get there at like 17.30 because of the traffic. But I've had so much fun, you guys. Like I got sick today, so I was sleeping all day. Like emotionally sick and my tummy was feeling funny. But otherwise, it's been really good. The people here have been so great to me. I'll put all their details um, below. But like, yeah, I'm about to go to Kumasi. I'm excited for that and I'm wearing like my favorite mini mouse dress <laughs> oh the other thing that happened is that I got a this there was this guy who was recording a music video for his song that he's doing <laughs> and he was like oh I want South Africa to be on I'm um, in the video so then I went and I danced so I might be famous in Ghana check your girl So I've arrived at my hostel. I'm in the dorm room, which is mixed, and apparently there are two guys who are staying here, so that will be interesting. It houses eight people, so it's got four bunk beds. The other guys are already here. One is there, and the other one is here. And I'm gonna take this one. I hope it's not too dark. Um, and then yeah, this is the rest of it. Looks very nice, like interesting. Let me just clean my lens one moment. I don't know what's wrong with my lens, but it's nice that they give you like things you can do and I think they've got a guide. So I'm gonna visit the lake and see the market um, and do a bit of like walking stuff. I'll show you guys outside when I go because they make, um, it's like a woman empowerment, so they make clothes as well. The woman make clothes and then they can sell them. So I made it safe. This is the rest of it. They've got an info board here. That's what that's old because it still says July. Apparently all the profit goes to the Women Empowerment Centre. And they tell you all these things that if you do like when breakfast is served and how much laundry is. Um yeah, I think I might need to do laundry. Then you get your food, that's the kitchen. They've got a honesty service going on here. So <laughs> there's my tour guide. This is way this is the outside of the hostel and I'm going to do a tour of Kumasi. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Kumasi. Kumasi. Yeah. Hello, Kumasi. Um and he's going to show me around um, he charges 200 CDs which is about give or take 600 it's quite a lot more than what I paid in Accra mm. and I did compare online and there are places that can charge you cheaper but I think um, yeah I'm not going to hustle it I'm just gonna cheaper as in like in Accra it was like 160 I think so pretty much almost the same. 
fighting? Yeah. And Ghana, if you, if you complete your university, you need to serve the government for one year before you can apply for air work. Okay, so, so you... That is what I'm doing, national service. Okay. For national service, I'm doing it at the military museum. Okay. So I, I sometimes do this for business to mm. survive. So what are you doing at the museum then? I'm just a tour guide over there. That's a side tour. Oh, inside the, inside the, the, the military. We are done with the service. Okay. And there's no work, so I just sometimes... Okay. So they play um, national football national here? football. So last Sunday, last two days, the club in Kumasi, they called Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Okay. They played a match here with a team from, from Algeria. Oh, from Algeria. Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. called Kano Piles. And who won? Kotoko won by two uh, goes to zero. And yay! we qualified yeah. to the next stage of the That's African good. Champions League. Oh, yeah. Meleki be ma one year na o, kame gana ma no wetu. Ah, nusia nusi te mi la o, na na ne kri wo te me. Na pe ye ye ma ma ko keko, adi nu ano nu ne pat loko. Na ya wo kala mo se ke keko, kana am poti na be ne to. I'm polo na ye me. He's outside. No te mi la de picture. So I'll explain about five or six or seven of these symbols to you. Where is the Sankofa one? Oh, the... Is it that this or this? It's, it has two symbols by the same meaning, this and this. This one is called Spider. Spider. It is the symbol of wisdom. Okay. In our language, we call it Anas and Tenta. It means that wisdom is natural, so you utilize your wisdom very well. If you misuse your wisdom, you can never gain it again. Yes, so don't miss the opportunity. Use your wisdom very well. This one, it is the symbol of readiness and steadfastness. Readiness and steadfastness. Yes, in our language, we call it pimpasi. This one, it is called the back of crocodile. It is the symbol of adaptability. In our language, we call it denchemechi. You can see that the crocodile is like an amphibian. It can live on the land, it can live on the water. So, woman, be like a crocodile. Be okay, adopt to the culture wherever you go. That is the meaning. This one is a symbol of humility. Yes. And this one, it is called Edwin Kraken. Edwin Kraken. It is the leader of all of these symbols. Yes. And this is the first ever Edwin Kraken symbols. In Ireland, we call it Edwin Kraken. It means leadership and commitment. And this one, and this one, it is called Sankofa. It means back to your roots. This one is a roaster who has turned his neck backwards. This one too is called because of God. Nyami, in Allah we call it Nyami Inti. We call God Nyami. Inti means because, which means because of God, that is why we are alive. This one is the sun and the moon. In our language, we call it Evia and It is it, 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 it is also called a symbol of understanding. It means understanding. You can see that now, it is the shine which is shining. So in the evening, the, the sun will understand itself to doom, to go low so that the moon will shine, so they understand each other. So it is a symbol of understanding. And this symbol, it is called blood is thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. In that language, we call it mujo mujo drusin. So it means in real life, if your family member or your close relative, your sister or your father or your mother offend you, forgive them easily than a stranger because you are one blood, so blood is thicker than water. And this one too is called symbol of courage. In that language, we call it akofena. So which one is your favorite? Better. Yes. That's when they arrested her. So this is the fake good news that she's surrounded with. It's only the baby who's out. Ah, she's 
So let's have the gold in the studio. It stands up every five years. When they are shot, they are shot. So was this the real one? This, this is the real one. one. For every five years, it comes out every five years. So last time as it came out, when it came out, it was celebrated the 20th anniversary. So now, where, where is it kept? The golden tooth, I am below that. I don't really know where it is kept, but I just like come and see it. So you, you can't. So that's the sword for Kam Thor. Let's see if you can lift it up. And this is the place. So apparently these chairs, this one with the beads, that's where the king sits and you can sit all around. So I was not permitted to sit on the other one because it's only for the, um, the Asante king. They come to two rituals which is this man over here and this one over here. So I'm gonna give a brief description about the market. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Minute five card. Minute five card. Let me get one. One minute. Today is also another piece of the central market. The new, the new face. So this is much, and it has eight thousand stalls. Yes, you said that. So do we cross? Yeah, let's cross. And all of these places are not part of the market. So guys, we went to the market and I am exhausted. Um, we are now going to go to the Royal Palace and then we're going to go to some um, kente with this light and so bad. But then we're going to go to a Kento village, I can't remember what it's called, so I can see how Kento is made and I can buy some. And then I go back to the hostel because I am tired. That market, it's like imagine a place where everything is there. It's just overwhelming. Um, so we're at this restaurant. There behind, you can't really see, but here is where the palace is. And this is how the restaurant looks like. It looks like it's trying to be fancy. And then it's called Royal's Homebrewed Restaurant. Um, this is the menu. Oh, they do have like a lot of Western stuff, like fried prawns, beef what what, pork, chicken, noodle. So they've got a lot of um, Westernized stuff, salad, soup, fish and sauce. So I'll have something here. Yeah.